A few weeks ago, I ranked my top 10 quarterbacks for the 2020 season at the FBS level, and I was surprised with how many people wanted to see me come out with a top 10 FCS quarterback, so here we go. So here's my list for the top 10 quarterbacks at the FCS level for 2020. Before we get to today's countdown, make sure to click that subscribe button if you love college football, and make sure to turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload. Kicking off this list is Brandon Rainey, quarterback at the Citadel. Now, Brandon Rainey was injured during an early season FBS win over Georgia Tech last year, but he still went out and had himself a great year. Running the triple option for the Citadel, he rushed for 900 yards with 17 touchdowns. He had six games with at least 75 rushing yards, including three games with at least 120 rushing yards. He also added 1,100 yards in the year with 13 passing touchdowns. Braylon Smith only appeared in four games for Central Arkansas in 2018 before his season was lost to an injury. Last year, the Bears got to see what a healthy season of Smith looks like. He threw for 3,700 yards, a Central Arkansas record. He also threw 32 touchdown passes, which tied a school record. Zarek Cooper sat as a backup at Clemson for a few seasons before transferring to Jacksonville State a few years back. In 2019, Cooper threw for 3,400 yards with 28 touchdowns. He also added 320 yards and 6 touchdowns on the ground. It was nearly identical to his 2018 campaign with Jacksonville State, where he threw for 3,400 yards as well, but with 34 passing touchdowns. That year, he ran for 370 yards and also had 6 rushing touchdowns. If all goes well for Zara Cooper in 2020, I think it's safe to assume he's going to have around 3,500 passing yards with 30 passing touchdowns. After starting his career at Boston College, E.J. Perry transferred to Brown and had himself a career year for them in 2019. He led the nation in total offense per game, averaging 368 yards a game. He set an Ivy League record for total offense, was named first team All-Ivy quarterback, and was a finalist for the Ivy League Player of the Year. Perry was the third player in Brown history to lead the team in rushing and passing yards, as he racked up nearly 4,000 total yards doing so in only 10 games. Houston Baptist had one of their better seasons in program history in 2019, and that was largely due to the play of their quarterback, Bailey Zappi. He set Houston Baptist records for passing yards with 3,800 yards, completions with 357, which also led the FCS, and touchdown passes with 35. He has over 8,100 career passing yards, which ranks number one among returning FCS quarterbacks. If all goes well for him and his team next year, Zappi can be a quarterback who could potentially throw for 4,000 yards and 40 touchdowns. As a junior, Eric Barrier ranked second in the FCS in total offensive yards per game with 356 yards. He also threw 31 touchdowns compared to only 4 interceptions. He finished 5th in the voting for the Walter Payton Award and earned 3rd Team FCS All-American honors. He closed his junior season with 239 passes without throwing an interception, setting the school's single season record for interceptions to attempts ratio. Jeff Undercuffler appeared in all 14 games for Albany last season. He set program records with 262 completions, 3,500 passing yards, and 41 passing touchdowns. His 41 passing touchdowns led the FCS, and his 3,500 pass passing yards led the CAA. Undercuffler had 5 games with 300 plus passing yards and 5 games with at least 4 touchdown passes. In addition to setting all those records, he was named the CAA Offensive Rookie of the Year, the Phil Steele Postseason CAA Freshman of the Year, and the ECAC FCS Rookie of the Year. He was also named to the Hero Sports Freshman All-American First Team and was a runner-up to the Stats FCS Jerry Rice Award. Daniel Smith first burst onto the scene while at Campbell. He holds school records for total offense, rushing touchdowns, passing yards, and passing touchdowns. His last season at Campbell in 2018, he had 5,400 yards of total offense with 31 passing touchdowns and 25 rushing touchdowns. Last season with Villanova, he totaled 3,300 passing yards with 35 passing touchdowns and only 10 interceptions. He also dominated on the ground, rushing for 457 yards and 12 touchdowns. If Daniel Smith can stay healthy and Villanova has another good season, he can total 50 touchdowns yet again. Kevin Thompson was named the Big Sky Offensive Player of the Year in 2019, in addition to being named First Team All Big Sky and a Hero First Team All American. He was also tied for third in voting for the Walter Payton Award. Thompson threw for 3,200 yards with 27 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. He finished the season ranked second in school history in single season pass attempts and yards, tied for second in passing touchdowns, third in completions, passing touchdowns, and yards yards per game, and was also 9th in completion percentage. He also did it on the ground too, rushing for 600 yards with 12 rushing touchdowns. This has to be the easiest number one spot I've given while doing these rankings so far. Trey Lance became the first freshman to claim the Walter Payton Award in 2019, and was also named the most outstanding performer in North Dakota State's national championship victory over James Madison. As a redshirt freshman, Lance accounted for 3,900 yards and 42 touchdowns. He threw 287 pass attempts without throwing an interception, and NCAA All-Division 
division's single season record. Many believe the Lance will be a first round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft should he leave after this upcoming season. If you'd like to learn more about Trey Lance, go check out my video on him. You can find it on my channel if you haven't watched it yet. I highly recommend you do so because if you don't know about Trey Lance, He's the guy you really want to pay attention to in 2020. There are a lot of studs who are going to be playing at the FCS level this year. Like, there are some quality quarterbacks there. Don't be surprised if you see any of these guys drafted into the NFL in the coming years, and don't be shocked if somewhere down the line, you see these guys starting for NFL teams. Which FCS quarterback are you looking forward to seeing most in 2020? I know a lot of people are going to say Trey Lance, so go outside the box and list another quarterback you're really looking forward to seeing. Are there any FCS quarterbacks that I didn't mention in my list? If so, drop a comment below and let me know why you think they deserve to be in the top 10. If there are any other FCS videos you'd like to see me do in the future, drop a comment below and let me know and I might just do a video on that. Because the FCS, they deserve recognition too. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and again, make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Lots of college football content coming over the next few weeks and the next few months. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you all very soon.